It's an opinion you have that might piss some people off. Uh, I'm scared. There are people in this country who like to scream and cry and reference slavery that they never went through as a means to validate the opinion that they are worse off because of their color in this country currently. And it is a narrative I have never been able to sympathize with because because you've been white your whole life. But listen, when I lived in California and I was moving to Texas, I wanted to make sure that I had a job in Texas before I went to Texas. I found a really cute in-home daycare and decided to give them a call. While chatting with them for about half an hour and telling them my experiences and how I've worked with kids for about, I don't know, 10 plus years, um, they told me that I got the job right on the spot. When I got to Texas and I pulled up at the house, I saw them open their curtains and look out at the street to me. Now I thought nothing of it because I said, oh, you know I'm here, so you're going to the door and I'll meet you at the door. I stood at the door knocking for seven minutes. After those seven minutes, I got back in my car and I called them. They said, I'm sorry, but we no longer think you're a fit for our in-home daycare. You tell me why that is, because on the phone, I had gotten the job, but when they saw me, it was immediately, oh, sorry, you're not a fit anymore. Here's another example. When I was working for the YMCA, a woman brought her child in. I told the woman that I was the child's teacher and she refused to leave her child with me. She said there is absolutely no way somebody like you could teach my child anything. Somebody like you, what does that mean? Hmm, what does that mean? What does that mean to you? Here's another example. I had an interview to be a teacher at a school one time. I was well past qualified for the position, so I knew I would get the job up front. When I got to the job for the interview, I had box braids in my hair and they were really fresh. I just got them done the night before. The man told me that if I wanted the job, I would have to change my hairstyle because it was not professional enough. And these are the same braids that white women get in their hair and they get praise for them because they're so brave and they're so courageous. But when I had them in my hair, I had to change because I wasn't professional enough. These are just a few examples of my life. Now, Miss Daisy Dukes, you tell me, why is that? Why am I getting discriminated against? Now I have many more examples because I've been black my whole entire life, but I'm not gonna give you the time of the day anymore because um, 